In this video, we want to solve this differential equation given these three initial conditions. So first we're going to let y equal e to the lambda x. And so we're going to plug it into the equation. So we have to take the triple, triple derivative, double derivative, and first derivative. So the triple derivative is lambda cubed times e to the lambda x. And that's plus 10 lambda squared e to the lambda x plus 25 lambda times e to lambda x is equal to zero. Notice that each term has a lambda e to lambda x factor. So we can pull that out. And inside the parentheses will be lambda squared plus 10 times lambda plus 25. That gets factored into lambda plus 5 quantity squared. And then from here, we can set each of these terms equal to zero. So lambda e to lambda x equals zero. Well, e to lambda x is exponential, and that's always greater than e, sorry, that's always greater than zero. And so we can divide both sides by e to lambda x to get lambda is zero. And then when we set lambda plus five quantity squared equal to zero, we get that lambda is negative five with multiplicity two because of the exponent here. So now we can combine these and form a solution. So let's start off with lambda equals negative five. Because the multiplicity is two, we have to list out two factors or two terms. The second term is gonna have an x next to it. And then negative five will be the exponent. Finally, we have to include lambda equals zero. So we have zero in the exponent here. And so e to the zero is just one. So that's just gonna be C3. And so this is our general solution. Now we wanna use the initial condition. So let's start off with Y of zero equals three. So let X equals zero. This thing is going to be zero. And so E to the zero is just one. So we have C1 times one. And then we also have C3. That's gonna equal three. Now we take the first derivative plug in x equals zero, this is zero, and then e to negative five x is just one. So we have negative five c one plus c two equals four. Next take the second derivative. And I didn't simplify, but these two could just be simplified as negative 10 c two e to negative five x. Plug in x equals zero this becomes zero. Then we're left with 25C1 minus 10C2 equals five. So now we can bring those three together. We have C1 plus C3 equals three. Negative five C1 plus C2 is four. 25C1 minus 10C2 equals five. So with some work, we get C1 is negative, five, negative nine fifths. C2 is negative five. C3 is 24 over five. So this was our general solution. These are the constants that we just solved for. Plug them in and get that y equals negative 9 fifths times e to negative 5x minus 5x times e to negative 5x plus 24 over 5. And that is our solution. 